What is up guys, Alp here, bringing you a jam-packed episode. We've got goals, lots and lots of, like, goals. Lots of goals. We've just got lots of goals coming up, guys. I've also got a bit of a uh, look at the team, see how they're progressing, etc. Let's do a squad report for you and let's see how people are doing. So, De Gea hasn't changed. Raphael's up by one. Jones up by two. Vidic is dropping a bit. We would expect that, to be perfectly honest with you. The same with Evry, given their age. You know, it is to be expected. Rooney's the same. Welbeck up by one. And, um, Suarez up by one to 90. Also, um, other players doing quite well. Yanazai and the like. The ones you would expect have pretty much stayed as they are. And obviously, the lone players are going up nicely as well. But uh, Suarez probably being the best there, going up by one point to 90. Moves us into our next game, guys. It's in the BPL. It is against Sunderland. So hopefully we can do some damage. A little bit of jiggery pokery with the kits. Couldn't make my mind up what to go with. And in the end, we go with that. It is uh, clear because we like it clear. World class difficulty, of course, guys. And let's get cracking with the match. As I said, I've promised you goals, and goals is what you are going to get. We don't do goalless games at Man United, guys. 17th minute, ball comes in. Boom, off, boom, off. What is it? Crossbar challenge, Vidic. Really? Did you see that? Just one header, second header, both off the crossbar. 29th minute, looking for runs, looking for runs. Rooney just checks his run. I think it's Rooney. Yeah, Rooney just checks his run and puts his right boot through it and absolutely finishes things. Finish him. Just absolutely sorts him out. 30th minute, 1 0 up, guys. Lovely side footed, just slip pass through, and Rooney just puts his laces through it. Job done. Keeper ain't saving this. View from behind the goal for you. And look, just got absolutely no chance. So, 40th minute, couple of minutes later, Sunderland on the ball, chip over the top. Can De Gea stop him? Should tramp it, but doesn't, decides to go on his own. And it is a good choice. It is confident. He had his confidence, and he put it in the back of the net. I would have tramped it myself, but um, there is always the risk of it being offside. Lovely, lovely finish there. Our turn, 48th minute, ball over the top, Kagawa. Oh, my days. That is what I'm talking about. He is proving invaluable. He may not have been great for United last season. I don't think he was played as much as he would probably should have been. However, for us in our team, he is bloody brilliant. He can tackle. He can knock people off the ball. He's only Diddy, but he can knock people off the ball. And he can do that. Pray silence for the beast that is Kagawa. Moving on into the 59th minute. And we are once again stretching our legs. Valencia putting it in down that wing. Going to ping a wicked cross in. And who is on the end of it but Danny Welbeck. I believe it's Welbeck. Yes, it is. Just Oh, what a header that is. What a ball that is, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm finding Valencia on this side. Kagawa on the other side are proving a lethal force with Pogba in the CDM position in the 4-1-2-1-2 uh, or 4-4-2 diamond, as it's known. Look at that lovely header. Just watches the ball all the way. So 62nd minute, they put one over the top. We are 3-1 to the good. They managed to get ahead on it, and it sneaks in to the back of the net. 63rd minute and they pull one back can they bring it level at th we're currently 3-2 obviously Rooney nicks it off them a little bit of a ball roll and no way are you coming back Sunderland check this ball roll out it is a beautiful little ball roll just sets the whole move up move up guys ball rolls it puts on the afterburners as best Rooney does you know puts on a little bit of pace gets that one that one yard uses his arm just to hold him at bay and, you know, 4-2, 76th minute. They try one. Can they do anything with it? De Gea, give me that ball. Showing him who's boss. This is my ball, and I'm taking it off you. Takes us into the latter stages. And nice shot. Fellaini, big head. Keeper gets a hand to it. We're trying to play it back in, but are unable to. Real nice passage of play. We get a corner. Corner comes in. Big head on it. Comes out. Volley. Keeper gets another big head hand to it once again another corner can we do anything with this corner we are bombarding the goal at the end ball comes in big Fellaini makes it 5-2 good night sweet Vienna job done 
absolutely dominating seven goals in that game guys as promised 90th minute clock is ticking away can we do anything ball comes over the top they manage to head it and the whistle goes to signal full time i promised you goals guys you got goals you got goals in abundance i promise there's going to be goals in the next match as well as we take on southampton you know these are a tricky prospect lalana you know etc etc we're playing in the rain i think i decided to leave this game in the rain i figured i can't switch every single game up i think i decided i want to give Mata a go instead of kagawa just to give Mata a run and kagawa a break to be perfectly honest with you so we get cracking guys in the 16th minute and ball comes in anyone on the end of it nice header but unfortunately just goes wide past the post so we're on the ball again suarez 17th minute lovely little move in puts on the afterburners can he finish suarez oh just overruns it really really close just about overruns it their turn 22nd minute we nick it De Gea out knocking players over like a bowling ball love De Gea he is absolutely tank they manage to thread through though can they get anything it is like to and fro back and forward 27th minute Suarez on the ball Suarez just about forces a save real nice shot on him there once again, us on the attack, 31st minute, ball over to Welbeck, Welbeck holding him off, he's strong Welbeck, he really is, puts a ball in, lovely volley, that is it, 32nd minute and we are 1-0 up, I'll show you that guys because it was a real nice finish, seriously, absolutely puts his laces through it, but a real controlled finish, the referee did whistle but loud play on for Welbeck which was a good thing because it allowed Suarez to do that. Just in it goes and boom, really catches it nicely on the volley and puts it into the back of the net. So a couple of minutes later and they're on the ball. Can they draw level after such a short period of time? They get it through, they get a chip across, tramping it like boosts. Absolute trampy little bugger keeper. Um, Southampton, just real trampy. I was like, I don't do that. Well, maybe I do it a little bit, but um, still pretty trampy. Welbeck ball over the top lovely volley manages to come out to suarez and that is what he does he seems to pinch goals out of nowhere wraps his leg around it and scores 2-1 55th minute can they do anything about it can they draw level they're looking for a run they're looking for anything comes out to rodriguez can rodriguez get a shot away we push it wide ball comes back in oh just wide so close from ricky lambert there real real close they're pressing though, 60th minute, we're just trying to hold them at bay, can we do anything about it, De Gea with a big punch, comes back in, return to sender stuff, and we just can't clear the lines, sneaky little ball through, but we managed to grab it and clear it, however, they are claiming penalty, I'm sat there thinking, there is no way in hell that is a penalty, but when they show it back, watch this, Vidic going in hard on the Southampton player, and allowing Lambert to take his penalty what about lambert does he miss penalties guys answers on a postcard by the way that's a joke because at the end of the day he don't miss penalties ever i wonder is gerard question for you in the comments below caption question will gerard take liverpool's penalties will lambert take liverpool's pe uh, penalties answers on a postcard below let me know what you think will liverpool's gerard take them or will Lambert take Liverpool's penalties? 90th minute, guys. 2-2. Southampton, Man United. Told you it was going to be one of those tricky games. And the clock runs out. We are unable to put Southampton to bed, which is unfortunate. But they're a good, solid outfit. Let's have a little look at the table before we finish. So as you can see, we're in third place. 17 points. Man City on 21 points at the top. And Chelsea right on our heels with a game in hand if you enjoyed this episode guys please drop a like sub comment and catch you later